We are here with Harvey Fell from Sarah of North America, and you have a whole bunch of goodies on our table knocking our Crown Royal out of the way. <laughs> Lucky for us. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Sarah North America is a subsidiary of a German company that's been in business for over 40 years, a real market leader in the German market. So over the last five years, we've been introducing a lot of these different products to the U.S. market. Okay, so is there anything here that could help my 280-gallon reef tank? There is a lot of things that could help your 280-gallon reef tank, but one of them wouldn't be this little uh, nanoprotein skimmer we'll talk about. Water quality in a marine tank is extremely important. And one of the things that Sarah has been really recognized around the world has been with good quality test kits, affordably priced, but they give you very, very accurate read readings, which for a reef guy, he wants to keep real good readings of his tank, doesn't want things to get out of balance. And we have a master. We do all the individual kits and so forth. So they, uh, that's been a really big part of the line. Well, you know what? I have to look inside this thing real quick. So let's move a few things. Really Absolutely. Wait until you see this. Pop that thing open. You bet. Okay, one of the things that uh, a lot of people recognize right off the get-go is typically our vials that we use for testing once they do come out of the box are all made of glass. Oh. So you don't have a plastic and you got nice. the really nice like wide that. mouth, which yeah. a lot of companies do plastic. You get a lot of staining on the inside of the plastic with this with the glass. That really doesn't happen whatsoever. Right. Also a few things, all of our color charts are laminated. Oh, that's good. So you have the real nice lamination. Just. Color matching is very, very easy to do. And we've tried to make a nice difference in color so you're not ever in that guess mode of is it this, is it this, right. which helps improve the accuracy we've done at the same for whether it's ammonia, nitrite, nitrate test. And I really like that they've put uh, kind of typical German. Nice little chart on the back for uh -huh. graphing what you're doing. Okay. And of course, you need a pen that you never have when you it need it. a pen. Included into the kit. Very nice, by Sarah. Yes, by Sarah. <laughs> This would typically retail for oh, somewhere between uh, 90 and $100 mm -hmm. with nine different tests on this one. And we have other ones uh, individually that are oh, in the 10 to $20 range. Is so magnesium in here? Magnesium is not. Calcium is. Wow, magnesium. you have to. wrong. Wow. Well, you know what? <laughs> These are those nine tests, and I picked the one There's that's not. There's nine tests, so but iodine's magnesium. iodine in here? <laughs> iodine is not in there either. <laughs> I'm actually doing this. But like calcium this. is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, calcium, yeah. Well, you might have it. Yeah, sure, exactly. I might use that. <laughs> All right, so tell me about some of these other things. What are sure. these noodles for? That is a product that we have called Ciperax, and I think we're one of the few companies in the world that has it. It's actually sintered glass. Okay. Um, the great thing about it is, especially for a marine aquarium, is huge, huge amounts of surface area. A quart of it is the surface area of a tennis court. A lot of marine hobbyists like it because you'll get both the aerobic bacteria growing on it, but with inside the little noodle, you get a lot of anaerobic activity, so then your nitrate levels stay very, very low in a marine aquarium. Buy it once, don't have to buy it again. This particular product we sell a lot to zoos, public aquariums is a big market for us, and now we're introducing it into the more of the hobbyist level. Interesting, in Europe, this is starting now to become the replacement of base rock. Oh, really? So we're using the base rock to work as your biological. So they have a mountain of noodles in the reef tank. There's like a mountain. Coral on top. <laughs> well, we're seeing a lot of that with the wet dry filter, kind yes. of go back a little bit to where not bio balls, but like with a sintered glass. So that's an that's an item we do extremely well with. That uh, is very unique to the Sarah line. Do you need to scrub them occasionally to kind of like reactivate them by in some way from a biofilm that's accumulated? No. no. They've really found the perfect Let's talk about this one. poor porosity. <laughs> now this, yes, when I'm driving now for four hours to go 30 miles to the LAX airport, this will be my good friend. I tell you, that and a good podcast from reefaddicts.com. You bet. <laughs> All right, what are these things? Okay, Sarah is probably one of the renowned leaders of foods and additives, supplements for both the fresh and the marine hobby. One of the interesting things with our food, it does meet a human consumption standard which a lot of times in the U.S. you won't see that standard to be as high, but in Europe the standard is it really has to meet a much higher level. So with vitamins, minerals that are added to it and so forth, you'll see a lot higher levels of that. In the granulated marine formulation, there's iodine that's put in that, where garlic has always been kind of an interesting, uh, an interesting additive, but the iodine we put in there, which is really good. All right, I do have one of your products. I've used it in the past. Uh, you had these little pellets you could glue to the front glass and the fish would nibble. Yes, yes. I, think it, I love that stuff. I think it's kind of awesome. And my fish couldn't figure out where the food was. They kept smelling it and they're swimming in circles. And finally, my NASO started attacking the pill. 
Now, did you have the O-nip, which is the freeze-dried, or the greenish one, which was the spirulina? I think it was the spirulina one. It really was. You're right. That I, I would love to see the company develop a whole range of product that would stick on the glass, fish come up and kind of nibble on it and so forth. With the spirulina that you tried, that's 20% spirulina, which I think is the highest uh, ever found in any uh, manufacturer, whether it be in the U.S. and Europe. The dry, it's interesting that the dry food versus the frozen food, where you don't see as much frozen in Europe as you do here, yeah. but when you can add a dry food to your daily feeding, I think it really makes a huge difference because you're able to get a lot more vitamins, a lot more minerals added to the diet of a fish, which I think longevity makes for a lot healthier fish. Well, let me ask you this. you got your spirulina pill, <laughs> and I put in a sheet of nori. Yes. So would, oh, I was just going to say, how much pill is equal to, like, how much nori? Is there, like, a way of knowing that? No, there really isn't because the, the nori isn't as spirulina, like, enhanced yeah. like the, uh, the pill is. So... With that, they're two different, but I think the important thing is variety. You really try to give your fish as much variety as you possibly can. And if you can do that, I mean, I think you have the best chance for a strong immune system, better chances for longevity with your uh, fish. So as long as you're giving them a good rounded diet, fresh, frozen, yeah. spirulina, nori, I think things work out usually pretty well. I like those pills because they stick on the glass. You don't have to use a magnet or a clip or anything like that. And when I was watching my NASO chew it off the glass, it looked like pieces were coming out of her gills, and the little fish would eat what came out of her <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> and what I always find interesting is even as large a fish as that can be, they don't get it off the glass. I mean, you would no. think that oh, a fish that big is just going to take it off the glass. And no, she didn't, no. but she can go through it. Right. She can get right. a lot per bite right. <laughs> where the little fish nip. So these are the last two we didn't talk about. I saw calcium on them. <clears throat> yes, and you see the numbers. We have a seven-step marine program now, one through seven, which has calcium two-part. There's trace elements, there's strontium, magnesium, and iodine. Mm -hmm. We've tried to keep the marine additive system very simple. And I think as we've looked at a lot of companies have a lot of different products. Perhaps they're all um, useful, but we've felt that with a good salt, we feel the German salt is good. With our additives, it's amazing. I mean, I feel the results that you get from it. In fact, we had a woman yesterday that came in. I saw her a year ago here, and she said that, I can't believe how well my tank looks. I've only used your products, and it's the healthiest and the best-looking tank that I've ever kept over 10 years with the use of the product. So I was real happy to see that. because it's a Well, that should pretty much be our interview. If he has one good customer, we're good here. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth coming all the way from Philadelphia to Los Angeles, not just for the weather. Thank you so much for sitting down with us for a few minutes, Harvey, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. We will, for sure.